As I was cleaning out my notebook, I found some notes on a class I taught a couple years ago on personal boundaries. And I wanted to come on and kind of share with you some more intellectual information about how energy works. So you can see how this applies in your own life. Oftentimes we will stay, you may stay in situations and relationships that are negative or that are a little bit disempowering because you feel that as long as you're trying to be high vibe and trying to excel and be successful, that that negative energy will not impact you. And I'm here to tell you that you are wrong consciously or subconsciously. It does impact you because this is how science works. If you are in a higher state of energy, it will tend to want to flow into a lower state of energy and vice versa. If there's a lower energy around, it will tend to want to take from higher vibrational, higher energy um, sources. So that means that if energy is always trying to find an equilibrium, you may find that your power when you're alone, when you're in your own energy, your energy that is normally here on its own, while science is trying to find equilibrium, will lower itself. So what does that mean? That means that you have less power than you would have if you were in situations that were, say, more empowering, more aligned, more purposeful, etc. than staying in a situation where you settle, where you feel obligated, where where you just go through the motions and stay in things because maybe you don't have the courage to do the things that you need to do or maybe you don't know how to change the situation and the circumstances that you're in so i wanted to share that with you because i know i've been there and you may be there too where you feel a little bit delusional like you can stay in this bad relationship where your partner is not um, high vibrational or you can do low energy things to yourself and your body and think that you'll get over it and things will be okay and they don't impact you or even your own personal mastery your own personal self-reflection and your own journey you may feel like it's okay to be a little bit low vibe because you are doing things successfully or in your outer world things look okay anytime that there is not equal or matched energy something or somebody is giving up something and somebody or something is taking energy and so you just have to ask yourself if that's something that you're willing to settle for in your own life but i wanted to share that little tidbit with you and you'll see that in part two i'm going to give you another little tidbit from this class that's a little bit similar but i also want to teach you the intellect and the intuition really the intellect behind some of the things that I teach around, again, these energetic issues and boundary issues and things like that. So I'll talk to you tomorrow. Think about this and see how this impacts your life and see how it impacts your life in different areas of your life and see where you can clean it up. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.